Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Two Cents Plus Your Gaming and Anime HQ. And today we're going to be talking about uh, one of my sets that I have here. I call this the Immortal set uh, because you pretty much can't die. I mean, unless you're an idiot or you just really get caught inside of a combo loop, it is damn near impossible to die with this set. Uh, I've seen similar sets to it, but I've done my own tweaks uh, that I've been working on with this particular set. Um, and just went to go look out and see if anybody else had tried anything similar. And I did see some similar sets to this, but um, just want to let everybody know that I did come up with this set on my own. And I've been working on it for quite some time. And uh, this is what I came up with. So... Um, right now I'm going with the Insect Glaive just because I've been on kind of an Insect Glaive kick. But there is a Lance variation of this exact same set that I'll show you guys in a moment. Um, so, skills. We have Val Hazak Vitality, which allows your recovery to extend beyond the red portion. So instead of just recovering the red portion of your health, it will begin uh, continue to regen after the fact, which is unbelievable as far as a monster hunter skill is concerned i don't think there's ever been anything like this before it is op to be perfectly honest and makes the game a bit too easy uh but who cares fuck it uh if you don't like it don't use it simple right okay next we have health boost it gives me a uh, plus 50 health which means after i eat i have a total of 200 health which is very very nice uh, recovery up uh, increases the amount of recovery when restoring health this is super helpful uh, for taking potions um, and just any type of recovery things that you have also not to mention that the weapon that I am using the aerial rod 2 uh, also has an augmentation that heals which stacks so uh, an additional 30% on top of the health that I heal with the augmentation plus any potions that I take don't leave home without it awesome Recovery speed uh, increases the speed in which your health recovers, and that also includes the external uh, portion of the red section. So four times faster in the red section and slightly faster when you have straight up green health. Your health regens really quickly, and you guys will see during the gameplay that I'm going to display. Uh, it, it's pretty damn fast. It's ridiculous. Um, almost reminds me of kind of Dark Souls, uh, those uh, blessed builds back in the day, or Demon Souls, I should say. Um, where your health regen with the judic adjudicator shield and everything, it was ridiculous. Uh, but anyway, weakness exploit is a must on any build, uh, that's just my general rule. Speed eating, because why not? You probably won't ever need to use potions very often, but in emergencies when you absolutely do, like it's like, uh, crunch time and you really need to get that heal going, uh, this is a godsend. Uh, peak performance comes with the set, increases attack when your health is full, which it will be most of the time. Uh, Divine Blessing 2, I was going to go for Div Divine Blessing 3, but I would have had to sacrifice a point in either one of these, and I chose not to do so, so fuck that shit. Um, Divine Blessing 2 is good enough, 30%, it does activate way more than you would think, uh, and it, it is very helpful uh, to decrease some overall damage that you'll take from enemies. Uh, Effluvia Resistance comes with the set. Um, two is perfect. I, I, with two, like I, I know a lot of people shoot for three, but you really don't need three. Two is just good enough. Uh, you usually don't spend that much time in the shit anyway, and if you feel like you've been there too long, just get out, uh, probably heal up or sharpen your weapon, and you'll be fine. Uh, Non-elemental boost is a gem that I have on here specifically for the aerial rod too Because uh, this thing only has an element if it is uh, Awakened which it is not uh, so get that extra power plus when you're using an augmented weapon Your attack the higher the damage of the attack you do the higher the heal so that works out So we got a, a good set that covers all bases uh, the, the things that I bring are the health booster and the affinity booster. Affinity booster makes you do more damage, which in turn makes you heal yourself more. Uh, more criticals equals more health. Health booster because why the fuck not? Um, uh, and this can be swapped out for anything, to be honest. Uh, especially if you're using the glaive, you don't spend a lot of time in that health booster and you can quickly get to it. Uh, but you can put, I don't know, um, Rocksteady Mantle's pretty good because you heal yourself uh, really quickly and you're not getting knocked over or whatever. So... 
Um, that's actually really good combination with this one. That's a really good alternative. Um, and whatever else you choose to use, depending. It, it's all situational. That's totally up to you. Uh, I'm getting the, um, the speed eating from the Glutton, uh, Glutton's Charm 3. Uh, just to let you guys know, that's where that is coming from. Now, when it comes to the decorations, and another reason why I love this particular set in general, is because when we look at the decorations here, for my current equipment, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 slots that you can play around with. Now, granted, uh, with the setup that I have, only two of the slots have three... Um, have three but that you don't really need that the element list only takes two and so does the tenderizer um, element list is optional it, it gives you a nice little damage boost but it's not much you could pretty much swap this out for anything you want uh, whatever other skills that you like maybe um, sliding or something like that to give you a little more affinity when you slide uh, but tenderizer was a must so I can you know even that out and then the rest of these skills are coming from the jewels each one of these whether it be medicine vitality or recovery or protection uh, only take one uh, single slot or whatever so uh, I was able to gem those in pretty good and it, it works out really well you got a lot of slots that you're available to work with uh, if you don't have these gems uh, you can always tweak it to work things out the most important thing obviously is the recovery um, Vitality is very nice, and medicine is not totally necessary, um, but they all play a part in making this set uh, what it is. So there you guys have it. That is pretty much it for the information on this build. Uh, in the very next video, I'll be showing you guys some gameplay footage of me actually putting it into action. This is a little preview clip right here. And uh, tune in next time if you'd like to see this thing in action and how efficient it is at keeping you alive. So thank you guys for watching as usual. Make sure you hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe for more content like this. And like I said, make sure you have that notification button clicked to tune in to the next video to actually see this set in action. Thank you guys again. I'll see you on the next one.